Hey guys, I'm RJ Betty. You might be wondering why I'm commenting on an Australian New Zealand CP strategy. Well, myself, having cerebral palsy, I think it is an amazing idea to have a strategy to understand cerebral palsy better for not just those who have cerebral palsy, but for the families and communities learning and growing with them. So this strategy is about inclusion, education, it's also about employment, it's about research, prevention of cerebral palsy, and evidence-based interventions to improve the quality of life for people who live with cerebral palsy and their families. Accessibility is also a major barrier to participating in the community. It would be nice to just walk down the road to go to the shops, not have to pre-plan the route, be able to pick up what I need and communicate with the people at the shops. There has been a lot of progress in the area of cerebral palsy, both in research and services, and we have the National Disability Insurance Scheme. But we've realized recently that to really make the next large steps, we're going to have to collaborate across the country and across New Zealand. We've spoken to people with cerebral palsy, we've heard what they want, we've spoken with their families, and we've spoken with organizations around Australia and New Zealand. I decided to become involved with the Australian New Zealand strategy for cerebral palsy because I had a son with severe cerebral palsy who's now passed away. My passion is definitely born from experience. I know it was very difficult to look after a child with severe cerebral palsy. I know what the strain it takes on a person and their family. So to be able to have this strategy that can help those people succeed and have a much better quality of life, that's like a dream come true. My biggest hope is that if this strategy is successful, we'll be able to make a huge difference and really improve the quality of life for people like Shannon and Cheryl, because their story is one that we hear every day. That cerebral palsy becomes a priority for our government, that they see the benefits of investing in research and in evidence-based interventions and therapies, and that we take advantage of the great science that's around so we can really make a difference to people who live with cerebral palsy. The purpose of the CP strategy is to address key areas for individuals living with CP and their families. Primarily access to comprehensive health care, participation in the community and quality of life in whatever dimension that means for the individual and the community. The fundamental thing that the New Zealand, the Australasian CP strategy does is to provide a roadmap for addressing some of the inequities and inequalities that exist for individuals living with CP, Primar primarily and particularly in relation to access to healthcare and community events. It provides a foundation for addressing a lifelong complex condition in a systematic way. I believe having a CP strategy will provide a better understanding and tools for individuals who are learning about their own abilities. When it comes to cerebral palsy, there's still a lot we don't understand. There's still a lot we assume. But in medical and in science, you shouldn't assume anything. And by having a strategy, we can get the tools in place to, great, to gather a better understanding and with that coming knowledge comes power and an overall understanding of the human condition.